Jordan with FlexiJet want to show you what it would look like to measure this empty space for staircase construction. We're going to start at this tread up here, or this landing up here. We're going to trace our, our room measurement. We're going to follow down the wall here. There's some detail on the wall here, a little notch where it comes out. And we're also going to measure our landing data, both directly below this tread and over in this general area over here. This is going to be kind of a real-time measurement showing you what the measurement looks like and also the output that we're going to gather at the same time. We begin every measurement with the FlexiJet by auto-leveling. The FlexiJet will take a quick read of where it sits on the tripod and digitally compensate for the levelness. This means that our measurement will be referenced to level and plumb right from the beginning with no manual leveling required. We'll start by aiming the FlexiJet by hand. It's very efficient for us in many situations to control the FlexiJet on the built-in touchscreen, selecting the different functions and aiming the FlexiJet to the positions we wish to measure by hand. However, we can also use the Xbox controller. The Xbox controller gives us the ability to control the FlexiJet remotely, and in cases like this, we can use a measuring aid where line of sight may not be available to measure to the underside. The additional flexibility provided by the Xbox controller means that in measurements such as staircases or empty stairwells, we have the flexibility to approach our measurement in a logical way, eliminating the need for a helper we're currently measuring the shape and position of the header, including where the front nose of the header is, the elevations, top and bottom. This is information is key for the design of the staircase. With the FlexiJet, we're creating the measurement drawing in real time, as we can see here in the software. There's no additional steps of adjusting the information or processing it for an output. FlexiJet is able to measure the elevations on the floor, including letting us know the relative level between the different points on the floor because our measurement is referenced to level from the beginning. We're simply aiming the FlexiJet at the floor surface and measuring data points both underneath the header and where the stair landing is likely to be. Then, a measurement is taken down the sidewalls where the staircase may interact with that wall. This contour scribe combines with the additional information already measured in the 3D space. If we'd like to capture additional information with the FlexiJet while on the job site, we may also choose to optionally measure the position of the walls in the room and use the FlexiCAD software to build a floor plan around the measurements that we will use to build our staircase. As you can see, in a very short amount of time, we've captured the position of the top step here, where the stair is going to begin. We've captured where that stair will interact with any surfaces around it. We've captured the difference in height between there and the ground, right below the header, as well as over where we're going to land. We've also captured the overall shape of the room, including the position of some doors, windows, and anything else that might be relevant to the measurement. Get in touch with us to learn more. We'll be happy to walk you through this file and explain a little bit more about the information that we have on the page.